When someone's diagnosed with cancer, that individual is devastated, but so are the people who love him or her. The family and friends are kind of at a loss initially. How can I help this person? There are some very constructive ways that they are able to. It may be running errands, uh, doing their grocery shopping, picking up their son from, from ball practice. Uh, those little things can go a very long way. Just sitting and talking about normal things and not always focusing on cancer is also very helpful. Perhaps being information central so that rather than the patient having to be on the phone for 17 different calls to tell the same story as to what the doctor told her today, someone, family member or friend, can say, I want to be your information central. I will manage the messages that you want to send out and all of the people that you want to have reach them. That also can be helpful when you've got family issues and dynamics of, did she call you first or did she call me first? Everybody gets the same information in the same way at the same time, so it undoes some of that sibling rivalry, which in fact can happen. We also know the importance of having time with family. Family gets elevated when our life is threatened. So going to the movies together, sitting around at home and telling stories, or watching a video at home, particularly a, a funny video, uh, can be really helpful. Uh, it's that distraction that the patient needs, but also that their, their caregivers need um, as well. One of the things that I do caution loved ones about is that commonly family members, particularly those that are now family caregivers of a cancer patient, abandon their own health while they are taking care of a loved one. We know that on average, that caregiver will gain 10 to 12 pounds while being a caregiver. They're not going to the gym, they're not doing their regular running in the morning, and instead they are in the house with their loved one who's been diagnosed and is undergoing treatment. Well-meaning people will bring food to the door it usually is not healthy food. It usually is high fat, high calorie comfort food. The patient may not feel well enough to eat it, but the caregiver who's feeling very stressed will polish off half a pie in one setting. We wanna have caregivers do exactly what the flight attendants tell all of us to do on the airplane. Before you put on that oxygen mask on someone else, put yours on first. So we want the caregiver to realize, don't feel guilty about maintaining your own health. Your loved one needs you to maintain your health. We want you to maintain your health as, as the navigator for your loved one so that you don't end up being a borderline diabetic, borderline hypertension, heart disease, et cetera, which has been studied and does happen.